what do you do after you've been forgiven once and for all, as Jesus says, of your sin, but you still sin? Because what do I do with my sin? Because I sin, even now. And what do I do with that? And I find most of the people I work with today don't know what to do with that. You know, not be controlled by my sin, but to be controlled by his spirit. For me, <laughs> if I had one, th one message to give to any Christian, it would only be that, and to help them understand what it means to be filled. It means to be controlled and empowered by the Holy Spirit. And it's rather simple in the sense that, just like we breathe, we're going to talk about spiritual breathing, which means just as I exhale, I get rid of that bad stuff, I'm going to inhale. So this whole idea of spiritual breathing was summed up in a card that a good friend of mine put together, but the idea of spiritual breathing. So the exhaling is basically to confess my sins, which means already God already knows what my sin is. So I'm basically just agreeing. That's all the word means, is to agree with what God already knows. So in confessing, we say the actual sin I know, that I have a very unforgiving attitude toward this person. I talk to them harshly. I, and then fill in the blank, and actually know that we're forgiven and to repent. And that is the idea of actually turning 180 degrees from the way I've been going and saying, I want to change. I want to do this differently. Now, I don't have the power in order to do that. And so at that point, I inhale, which means to take in his command, which is to be filled with the Spirit, to actually empower me because the basis of the word filling is is to be empowered and his promise is that if we ask anything according to his will and his will is to be filled he hears us and you know did you find yourself actually talking to god over this when you're driving that truck talking to that person on the highway ask anything according to his will he hears us and he will actually now walking in the Spirit now has that idea step by step by step by step. And that is something that we can do day after day. Or in my early days as I was doing it, I was doing it hour by hour. And sometimes it was even every five to 10 minutes I was doing this because I had to, I just wasn't gonna let go of something and I had to just confess it. So the point is, is to walk step by step and that my friend, is the most incredible lesson, I think, in the Christian life. And if I had just one lesson, what do I do when I sin? And how to be free from the guilt and the consequences of sin is to know that I can exhale it by confessing and inhaling it and receiving God's power through His Spirit and to give thanks because God's doing it through me and you, through walking in the Spirit. Try it. You'll like it.